Hi there guys, this is Farmer Bob. Welcome back to another video on map making. <laughs> Great man, I believe this is the second video for the year. A warm welcome to you if this is your first time on my channel. Um, and yes, while we're on the subject, hit that subscribe and the like and also obviously the little bell for notifications and all the nice things. <laughs> Anyways guys, um, I've been asked to um, convert the valley, the old farm it's a map by Black Sheep Modding, which they are not converting to FS22. But um, uh, one of you guys, one of my subscribers has asked me to convert the map for him. And uh, I'm busy doing that for him. So um, now, guys, I know what you're thinking. I also want to play it. I also want to play it. Please give it to me. <laughs> uh, at this stage, I cannot. Uh, this is a private um, map conversion for, for someone. Um, I've asked Black Sheep Modding for permission to share it publicly. So if if it becomes a, available, if if they don't give permission, then I'm sorry, guys. There's nothing I can do. But this is a private build for someone um, who's actually paying me to do it. So uh, it's not available for public. Well, I thank you guys for understanding. It really does help me a lot. Um, so y'all, yeah, please don't uh, WhatsApp me or. I won't say what's up, but Discord me or <laughs> anything for the map, you know, because it's not available for public. Now I'm I'm just taking you along for the ride, because what I'm doing today is it's fairly interesting. When you convert a map from FS19, um, a lot of stuff has changed. Um, for instance, all your triggers, all your animal husbandries, the, the old ones from FS19 doesn't work anymore because the way animals work has changed, the way triggers work has changed. So um, you have to redo all your triggers and all your husbandries and, and your farmhouse and all that kind of stuff needs to be redone. So today I'm doing the, um, the, the farm silo. And this is interesting. That's why I wanted to take you guys along for the ride is how to make a, a farm silo from for a building like for instance this building has already got the the looks of a farm silo <laughs> on the valley the old farm you drive through this building and there's the the the, the pipe for your for your unloading or, or your loading and then the grid for your unloading so we want to put a trigger in there and make this farm silo work so that's what i'm going to show you today how to do that it's quite interesting um a fairly um extensive process <laughs> but it's interesting stuff to learn you know and uh, and uh, um, get under the belt to how to do it you know so anyways without further ado let's get stuck in so we have the the, the looks of the building but we don't have the working parts so what we're going to do is um, go into I just want to exit this um, so what we're going to do is go into the um, the in game and grab one of the farm silos in there and modify that because we want to use the triggers of that to to make ourselves a farm silo great so that's what we're going to do so obviously first things first guys don't be in a rush <laughs> grab yourself something to drink i'm having some coffee in the background um so when i slurp a bit just to excuse me so first things we're going to do is grab a um in-game folder at uh, farming simulator data and then into the placeables um, I know um, bum, 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 bum. it's not Unia it is yeah it's Unia with the former the former 400 is being used on the map Alpine or the Alpine map um, so we can easily use that because we already have the XML and the I3D and everything in there so what we're going to do is grab this XML copy that and then drop it into our maps folder which i'm going to keep this tab open for my map there it is into my xml like that and then this is just the this is the xml that makes the thing work but the i3d obviously is here and we're going to have to modify the i3d and also modify the xml because they work hand in hand the i3d is the actual trigger and the xml is what loads the trigger into the game via the placeables xml so that's how it basically works so we're going to need to modify both of them uh, get rid of all the visual stuff and then update the xml accordingly you know because we don't want the, the the visual things if you open this up i'll show you now we're going to have to open it anyways um to to export we don't want that because we can't place that into that spot in the map it's going to look fairly horrible if we put that in there you know it's got that whole 
building which is uh, obviously not part of the trigger all right so first things then to do is um, have a look at this thing uh, expand it a bit so we can see so what we want is that part the silo part the trigger part because if you open this you've got your loading station and unloading station so that's the two things that we're interested in with all its goodies in there so we're gonna grab um, we're gonna grab this whole thing um, and let us export it file export selection with files then we're gonna go into our map the valley the old farm maps um, I've got a folder custom and I'm gonna create a new folder in custom for myself called um, farm silo just like that I wanted it to have an capital S I'm so used to the the things going capital on the second and then we'll just call this um, farm silo like so and again I missed the S I think my keyboard is busy acting up I'll have to buy a new keyboard because sometimes I press the shift and then it doesn't work <laughs> anyways you know how it goes stuff doesn't last forever so when you get to this yes for both of them because we want to have everything that's in game we want it in our map so now we can close this one and then open we don't want to save anything there now we're going to open that one we've exported um, it is in my custom folder farm silo and there it is so this i3d now we're going to modify get rid of all the stuff we don't want so what we're building is basically a custom uh, storage facility now there's a lot of stuff in here that we want to get rid of um, the clear areas leveling area test area tip occlusion all that stuff is part of when you place it in game so we're going to delete those test areas the tip occlusion update areas we don't really need that visuals that's the whole building we don't want that collision um, let me just see tip collision the collisions I suppose we we're not going to use it because that's on the building itself so let's get rid of that so occluder that we're going to definitely get rid of that's part of the building so last but not least the tele teleport node is just a node when you pull up your PDA it gives you that little icon so it, it gives you the ability to teleport so the visit part of it comes available so when you click on visit it will teleport you to this spot good so that is fine I think that is basically all we need great maps loading station unloading thing AI spline everything in there should be fine so I'm gonna leave this open now let's save this i3d it's in our map now so what we want to do now is we, we, we've deleted a lot of stuff in here so we've changed the index paths to a lot of the things so we need to update the XML so what we want to do now is go to our map once again um, into the XML that we've copied because this is the one we need to modify now now the first things the image we can leave at the, um, the location in game but the i3d needs to change because we've now got a new i3d so we need to grab the directory for this i3d which is now under custom form silo and there's the new i3d the i3d is called form silo as well so what i'm going to take is from my map folder everything after my map folder copy that Control c into the xml and overwrite this whole piece in front Control v and then just change all the slashes to forward slashes very important so it's maps custom form silo and then this is also form silo.i3d I'm just going to copy and paste that in there control V like so just verify that form silo is the i3d and form silo is the i3d so we can place it in there all right so now the next thing we want to do is open this um, not that one not that one this one here and then minimize it so that we can see everything here on the side okay so what we have is um, I think let's just first go through all the things we've deleted we've deleted now um, everything under silo there was the silo uh, placement we've done the removed the placement so let's delete the placement stuff now I've learned in the past 
don't don't delete these just delete the stuff in the test and areas the start and end things the same with the clear areas leave that in just delete that and leveling just delete that like so so you leave the actual um what do you call it the the start and end nodes for it and the tip occlusion we've deleted that so delete that one ai um start and end that we can delete I actually wonder if we could have left that. You could have actually left that. I'm just going to uh, delete it now for now. Dynami dynamically loaded parts. We don't want the cover. So this whole section, I think we can... Um, is there anything? There is definitely stuff in the in the I3D for, the, for, the, for that, but we have removed that. So let us ju just get rid of that too. Info trigger can stay. And then the silo we definitely want. Hotspot we want. Trigger markers we want. And then the last thing is the mapping. Now this is where it becomes important because um, we have changed a lot in here. So we have to just verify. Uh, okay. Just verify map position. So I can say silo from map position is zero 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 that's still the same storage everything in here we haven't changed any of that so up to teleport node if we find teleport node is there zero eight okay teleport node is definitely going to have changed because that now is zero one so we need to fix that up get back to my i3d Okay, so up to AI spline, just want to see if there is, yes, AI spline is 0, 05, that's still in there. So everything after AI spline, we can delete. So from there up to there, we just trash all of that. So the last thing will be teleport note, and that is it. And I think everything should be fine then if you leave it just like that. We have got the right I3D loading. So I'm going to save this XML. And now what we need to do is we need to come into the map and then just place that I3D in here and get it at the right position. Now that's a fairly um, interesting way of doing things. Oh yes, and we, had, we need a placeholders folder for that too. If you don't have a placeholders folder, just create a, a transform, name it placeholders and then add the on create, um, the on create uh, script. I'll quickly show you how to do that. So on the folder itself, just click there. Open your user attributes here from window user attributes. Click it there so that this opens. And then in here, you just type on create with a capital C like so on create. And it's a script callback so that you add that attribute. And then in there, you type placeholders with a capital P placeholders like that dot small letters on and then capital C again on create just like that and that is it now what's going to happen is whatever we put in this is going to be ignored by the map when it loads in game because we load that i3d via xml all right so what we're going to do is open file import so we bring in that um, custom form silo of ours so we want that in the map and then just drag it up in there into our placeholders folder select it control B drop it in here and now we need to position this thing which is sometimes a bit uh, <laughs> tricky to do uh, somewhere there it's got that little pipe thing up there so I'm not too sure it's uh, it, it's sometimes very um, difficult to align these pipe things thing them a bit choppies so I'm just gonna go in like that I don't think for for the video's sake it, it's that important but um, in real life you you might want to sort of align that now to make sure that your height is correct we need to come here and then open that up uh, into the silo and find one of our uh, unloading station the unloading station yeah the unloading station yeah grab one of these uh, nodes make them visible where's the visibility there it is okay so now you can see we, we, the, the actual trigger so if you move this up and down the full root node needs to be just underground the bottom line this one here 
just needs to be a, just underground to, for it to work properly okay so now once once that is done remove the visibility again and now because we have um, we haven't changed anything in this we've just moved it about so we don't have to resave that if you do make any changes in here like say for instance you forgot something or whatever you can select the whole folder again go file export with files click on that overwrite and say yes to both questions and then it will overwrite but then you're going to have to reopen the actual form silo here and just zero all your all your translations because it's going to export it with this translation so open it up make it zero because otherwise your your xml is not going to work or, or your silo is going to hang somewhere in the e <laughs> somewhere else on your map because it's going to put this two and two together you know uh gonna take this and add it to the xml's um positioning so it's going to end up somewhere else on your map great okay so i think that is all looking great so we're going to leave that in there I'm just going to save the map as is. All right. And now, once it's saved, I've got that. I'm going to grab this. Um, oh, we, we, need to, we need an XML, a placeable line as well. Now, a placeable line is very simple and easy. Because we know this is used in the Alpine map, we can just go to the Alpine map. So that's Forming Simulator, Data, Maps, uh, Map Alpine, placeholders uh, placeable sorry there it is and find the um, former former 400 where is it why don't I see it that's the cow barn farmhouse farmhouse e, there it is so we grab this whole line copy that and now we go into our maps uh, we can close this one now so we don't get confused back into our maps placeables uh, maps placeables i think i've already got the line for that so i'm just going to override that there it is just to um get you at the same place where, where where you will be so now now that we've copied that over there's two things we need to do first is uh change the file path to our xml spot so that will be under my maps under xml there it is this is our modified xml so we grab once again everything after our map name so that's our map name in the mods folder grab that control c back in here override everything in front control v and then change the slashes very important and then in front of that we want a map der dollar map control c so it's a dollar map der dollar control v just like that so dollar map to dollar and then maps xml former just make sure we've got the spelling of that correct it's former 400 we haven't changed the xml name so that should still be great and then obviously our positioning data are very important so in here i can now just close that we're going to go into the map itself take the former 400 take this positioning data copy that control c it's control shift c because i copy all three of them w at once come in here select the whole um, things between the inverted commas and control and v it will paste it in there for you and rotation data i don't think we've rotated it so that must be zero 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 just make sure rotate zero 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 if you have rotated it, it will have the correct data in there so just copy and paste that over it should all be fine default form property definitely true because it is on the default form and form id one that is perfect okay so now the next thing is our mod desk we have to update update our mod desk so in here um once again i've already got this in there so all you do is now from the map there after the map there just grab this whole line in there control c come to your mod desk and give yourself a store item line if you don't have in one in there just uh, start the store items like that and end the store items like that um, it's the uh, smaller as forward slash store items and then greater as all right that's how you end it and you start it just like that and then insert yourself a store item line in there or copy copy one from 
one of the in-game uh, store items.xml just copy a line in there and make sure that you paste this in between from your um, placeables oh my word <laughs> i wanted to grab this control c go in there override that uh, piece there like so control v there you go maps xml so it points uh, the store items in the farmers uh, um, former 400 xml good so there it is let's save all of that and now all that's left now is to just give the map a test and see if um, we have errors or whatever there's always surprises and things collapse all and then just give the map a save just in case So I'm going to quickly have a look here. I've now obviously now closed my Steam. Uh, my Steam is on my desktop, I think. I just want to close or minimize all of this. Where's my Steam? I don't have Steam. There's Steam. <laughs> ah, I must still switch off that annoying Steam uh, notification. Small word. Things always pop up while you make videos. Anyways, let's just uh, not worry too much about it. Let's just wait for it to come up. I can have a sip of coffee in the meantime. And there you go, guys. Now, let's just go in game. Steam uh, Farming Simulator. A lot of stuff that needs to happen before you can actually get to your game. <laughs> oh, my word. Anyways, guys, so here we go. Let's go in there. New game. Um, the value of the old form right so that is now the map of I've, I've actually got the map now converted all the textures is converted to, everything is built in except for I need to now rework all the triggers on the whole map all the buildings all the things that work it's got working stuff still needs to be done and then once uh, once we're done we will be uh, happy and then also you can see I've got some um, errors or warnings there on on some other triggers that I need to fix up. I forgot now to check if we have a problems on the on our placeable. Just want to quickly go through the whole thingamabob. If you see any yellow or red ones, you know that's something to have a look at. Those yellow or red ones I know all about. That is just in-game stuff. Oh, here we go. No, that's just warnings about map for this. Man, it looks like we've got it first time right. <laughs> that's a first. <laughs> Anyways, let's have a quick browse here. I've also actually got all the maps um, triggers on the doors and stuff to work. So that is great. Um, already fixed that up. And here we are. If you see the icons, you are normally 100% sure it's going to work. It, but uh, the bottom right, it says the silo is empty, which is true. We've got nothing in there, but let's just grab a um, tractor and a trailer and then it's just verify that everything is working. So now, I actually played a lot on this map. I actually made a few videos on this map too um, in my very early days of video making. Um, I, think, I think it was on this map. I'm sure it was. The valley, the old farm. Here we go. It's a lovely map. Um, the guys did a real good job making this map. Lots of detail. Looking good. Okay, so here we go. So first things first. This is a tip trailer. And always when you have a tip trailer and a small space for it, go into your tip side. Um, I normally put mine on the left or right. But you can also do the back, that small um, gate in the back so it's you to change uh, the grain door is, is that small square one in the back that will also work nicely but let's go to the left um, and then what I can do now <coughs> obviously we need some grain trailer it's empty <laughs> almost forgot uh, let's fill it with wheat uh, wheat is the easiest and quickest so there we go we've got 18,500 liters of wheat and if we drive over the trigger it should pop up with the eye and you just tip it and there you go let's just have a look if it, it, it like i say if you see the icons normally 
your trigger is working and then the and, and if there's no other errors in your map starting up you should be fine all right i didn't see any others um so i can just take this out of the way and then let us test the loading just gonna get reverse a bit um, properly under that pipe <laughs> i didn't didn't really reverse properly I suppose that will work guys I'm not going to be too uh, fast so let us um, load this R wheat and there it is ah you can see you can clearly see the um, that little uh, start trigger is a bit a bit uh, too low for the pipe so we need to maybe lift that up a little bit so that's some some cinematics you can um, quickly sort out on your own you know but I'll quickly show you how to do that anyway so our tip trigger is working our f oh yeah we wanted to see now once it is finished that we have actually got some stuff in our bins wheat there it is 18,500 in the bins all working great man okay I'm excited that is awesome so that basically is how to grab a trigger from the in-game map and make it your own customize it and working nicely all right so now what we need to do now is go into gameplay placeholders and into this boy here silo so all we need to do is you can't just pull that up now unfortunately because if you just pull it up you're gonna um, move your, your your trigger up here so what we need to do is find um, the unloading station it's actually the loading station not the unloading station so it's the loading station this one here and just move that a little bit up we don't want to move the the unloading triggers so um, the loading station I don't think has got any um, anything to be worried about your yeah, discharge effect all of that stuff so what we want to do is just move this boy up up into there get that into the pipes nozzle like that good great now that that is sorted and it's actually going straight down so now we've got there's enough space there for the for the things to flow so now you're gonna have to grab this whole thing and then export it file export with files overwrite the one in <coughs> your map folder click save replace it yes and yes to both because we're gonna keep everything in game all right and then we can close this and save it and then just lastly what you need to do is go into that um, export of yours custom um, silo open the trigger up and then just zero all the all the um, placeable um, translations for it, the position data so just zero these because otherwise like I say it's going to end up somewhere else on your map just like that so there we have it and then save just like that and because the XML is loading this i3d um, the one in the map that we've just modified now will be ignored because it's in the placeholders folder but it's loading this i3d so this is the important one to have working so let's just verify now if if that is on track if that is still in the right spot we or if that has moved as we asked it to move uh, it will be great Okay, this time around we can see how the things go by. I'll get around to those still because I'm on my first um, <laughs> conversion or fix up of, of, of the placeables XML. There's a lot to fix. So um, we will definitely get around to that. Let's just grab one of these tractors once again. We do see our triggers, so that is good. 
I can already see my <laughs> my marker for that. The other one is a bit in the air, so uh, now I have to move the marker again. But anyways, you can still move the marker as well. The main thing is if, if that animation is now correct for that wheat falling out. That is what we want to see. Oh my word, Farmer Bob is drunk. <laughs> I've been uh, been trying to um, get that to work just nicely while I'm driving. Multitask. Obviously we'll need some stuff. Oh, I've already done that. Uh, I wanted to change the tip and that's you. Tip side left. Uh, F1 just to get rid of that. There we go. Tip it in. It's working great. And I think um, that should be enough. It's just R and it should come nicely out of the pipe. <laughs> I love it. Great stuff guys. So now if the icon is worrying you, uh, you can bring that icon down. Um, just the same process guys. Just back into, back into the map. Let's just quit this. We know it's working nicely now. So the same process once again uh, into the map. Uh, maps. So let's get the icon on the right spot. I wonder why it moved the icon as well. Because I think the icons are on a different node. Supposed to be, if I'm correct. But uh, yeah. Just want to have a check there. Silo loading station marker loading there it is okay so the height for the marker loading is minus 4.23 and on the unloading marker you see it's 0 to 5 so all I'm going to do is grab that um, marker loading um, and just make it the same height again you know so that that way um, there it is marker loading Oh, why is it up there? That's not right. Oh, okay, so something is a foot. Marker unloading, marker loading. <laughs> I wonder why it's gone up there. So I'm just going to bring it manually down. Down, down, down. It's going to be difficult now. How on earth do you know? When this thing is too low or too high, suppose trial and error. I can bring it a little bit down. That is strange, guys. So translation Z. Um, yeah, I know it, it's just weird. I think. I think it's probably because the transforms are in different spots, you know, the loading station is on 5.4 and the unloading is at 0 to 5. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. I think I think that should be alright. So you can just trial and error until you've got it at a good spot for yourself and then just save or export it over itself once again. I'm going to just do it for you like that. So select it. Very important you select the transform. Because otherwise <laughs> you're going to export the wrong thing. Save it. Replace it. Yes, yes, yes. And then we can save the map as well. And then it is once again back into um, the custom. You have to open it unfortunately every time you override it. You have to open it up and zero it once again because otherwise like i say it's gonna cost you some crocodile tears and you're gonna wonder where is my silo gone to <laughs> and i'm sure it's going to happen to you it's happened to me a million times so i know you're gonna open the map up and your silo is not there you look at the pda and your silo is somewhere out there in the sticks and then it's you suddenly dawns on you oh i forgot to zero <laughs> it happens guys 
<laughs> it really happens i promise you um i promise you that for sure so all we need to do now is just check the, the icon that it's actually moved i hope so i'm sure it will <laughs> okay where are we in the world Ta-da! Is it right? Is it right? It is right. Perfect. Okay, good stuff. Oh, I think that's... I'm, I'm happy with that, guys. Totally happy with that. Well, guys, if this was insightful, um, it's about the time that um, you can hit that subscribe. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, it does help my channel. Really appreciate that, guys. And also hit the like if, if, if it was a helpful video for you. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, man. Cheers.